No, I haven't slept with anyone from rest. I, I don't do that. Watch out for, for scammers. This 10k, I don't know about it. Funny how you think actually university students are rich. We are not rich. We are actually the poorest of the poor. Why do you think there are slay queens out, out here sleeping with blessers? Plus, slay queens are students. Uh, guys, I know this accredited men. Um... <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new, please make sure that you subscribe, the notification bell, and do the right thing. And if you're a rich new subscriber, I would like to say thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my videos, for supporting my channel, for subscribing to this channel. You know, I, I really appreciate the love. I, I see it. Uh, it's, it's it's beautiful so yeah guys um if you don't know me i'm shalin mubango um yeah on this channel i go by uni lifestyle with shalini Muvex um because um this channel is dedicated to um university lifestyle um anything that has something to do with accommodation student lifestyle so yeah guys so um today best of tackle of this video i am going to be responding to um all the questions that have been dropped on comment section on each and every video on my channel so far so if you have dropped a question that i believe is controversial i'm gonna be responding to it like right now here um on this video so yeah guys stay tuned for your question to be answered but then i did respond to each and every question so there's no need for people who actually ask to watch but then if you really want to know what other people ask on my channel or if you want to know more about me and what i do and yeah if you want to know more about strong accommodations you can actually just binge into the video because i'm gonna be answering a lot of questions based on strong accommodations your bag and if sas um, me as a student what i'm currently studying everything guys i um i'm gonna be answering 45 questions from different people um yeah guys i really appreciate the people who actually comment on my videos i go through all of the comments i comment to everyone's questions unless if the the question is not related to my content or it's just like a random weird comment um yeah let's just get on to the video <laughs> Okay, so yeah guys, let's let's do this. Okay, so don't mind me. I'm gonna sometimes look down because I'm reading from my laptop I sent all the screenshots of the, the of the questions to my email address So yeah guys so that I just don't you you get it. So um, the first question is from Bali She's like hey love how much um, does NFCs pay for student accommodation? Um, NFCs pay for student accommodation um, differently depending on which institution or province you are studying at Let's say you're studying at the University of Venda you're gonna get um less amount of money for accommodation compared to us who are in Jobek, probably because of your standard of living differs. And we, besides that, the university that you're going to, vest students um get more strong like strong accommodation allowance than UJ students. I don't know, maybe it's just because tuition fees um at vet are quite expensive. Me as a UJ student, I pay four thousand and something, four thousand two hundred and eighty. Um, vet students pay more. I think it's four thousand three four four five hundred and something. So it differs institution to institution. Um, Mr. Tam Maga is like if I'm using NFS, do I need to top up to get a non-sharing bedroom close to APK? Um, most single rooms that where you don't share a room with anyone, um, they usually top up. But then the university is quite against the top up things because I've heard people saying that um, NFS doesn't allow students NFS students to top up anymore. Da -da 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 -da. But then if you want as a single room, you can actually go ask in a certain sort of competition that you want to stay at and ask if you can be able to top up. But um, as far as I'm concerned, NFS is actually saying no to students topping up. Um, and this thing started this year because in 2019. People were topping up to stay in single rooms, so yeah, guys, it's possible to top up. You just have to inquire with the sort of competition that you want to go stay at. Oh, do not roti me six months ago. This is actually long. It's like, hey, good job, sis. Um, was just thinking it would be nice to have to have mentioned the rental cost to anything for couples phd students thanks for um i had for a constructive response okay <clears throat> the constructive part was not necessary <laughs> i don't know why you mentioned that but it's okay um I didn't mention the cost of the sort of accommodations um, in the video that I posted. I think this was on, it is a, it is a comment from top 10 sort of accommodation in Joburg, right? I didn't mention um, the 
like the cost because it differs um like you, you'd find a rice that has um single rooms two sharings um three bedrooms and all of these rooms differ like have like, different prices i didn't want to complicate the video because the video is just about like the location and the name of the store accommodation it was like yeah it was just like that not comparing the prices right that's why i didn't put in the prices and the prices also change um each and every year like annually because in 2019 i was paying 3000 and something for store accommodation now it's 2021 i'm i'm paying 4000 280 last year i was paying 4018 or oh, I, I forgot but then it changes year to year so i didn't want to put it like to put price cost because that would update my video let's say you are watching my video the top 10 video in 2013 um it can still be relevant to you because you'd be knowing strong accommodations right but then if i put in prices it's, it, it's gonna be outdated because the prices will be different there I, I think that was also what um i had in mind while while i was shooting the video hence i didn't put in the cost and the second question anything for couples page students um most strong accommodations only allow um students to stay there um if you want to to, I don't know it depends on on the, the kind of accommodation you can actually approach them and ask if it's possible for you to stay with your person or if uh, you see if you're with your person but a PhD student guys um PhD student is a student guys it's that person is a student so you can stay in a certain accommodation I just don't know about you staying with your partner or doing some family kind of vibes at rest I, I don't know I don't, I don't even feel like it's, it's possible but then you can always inquire someone is asking in saratoga village there's 10k that needs to be paid before check-in which includes deposit and admin fee is that covered by nss um i really don't know about the ten thousand, and it's 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 it's, it's weird i've never heard of that my friends um i have a friend sinalo she stays at um Saratoha. she's an nfs student she applied the previous year and then it was free applications and then she got in this year without having to pay any 10k so i just, I just don't know where you're getting this information but i would advise you just um call them and inquire further as to where this 10k comes from and whether nfs can pay for it or not i don't know what's happening but then i've never heard of 10ks and 10k is a lot of money i've had students um student accommodations asking students to um marking deposit but then the deposit is usually like 100 rands to 500 it, it doesn't exceed even like 2000 so 10k is a lot of money watch out for scammers out there uh, uh, yeah watch out for, for scammers this 10k i don't know about it but then if you stay at saratoha and you kind of know about the 10k you can always comment down below um someone is asking can international students apply um to these to these residences yes as long as you have the the like the particulars that i needed the what are particulars yes the things that student accommodation needs the documents that student needs like student accommodation needs because uh, when i'm applying as an sa um citizen they just write their passport or or what again id number so if you have a passport you're going to write your passport you can fill in and apply as long as you're going to be able to pay and you have a passport that's going to pay for you so these residences are um, also like they are they also open for international students as long as you can afford and you have the like the needed um documents how much is staying on off-campus accommodation um it depends on which university you're going to it also depends on the sort of accommodation that you want to stay at certain sort of accommodations are much expensive depending on whether or not they're nss accredited or not or whether or not you are using nss accredited uh, you, know, you are using nss or not so um how much it depends on the sort of accommodation that you're going to but then i stay um on an off-campus sort of accommodation that is nss accredited accredited i that is nss accredited and i pay 4280 um when is the best time to apply for student accommodation if you are try if you're currently in metric um you can in my metric um myself from personal experience didn't apply for student accommodation while i was still in metric i only got to apply for student accommodation after registering in 2019 in 2018 in metric i didn't apply for student accommodation but it depends on where you want to stay if you want to stay off campus student accommodation there is no need for you to actually apply while you're still in metric because you can always get a student accommodation there are a lot of storm accommodations here yeah. they, they never run out of storm accommodations but um if you want to stay on campus uh, in, in storm accommodations that are on campus um you can always apply while you are applying for 
like for you for what you want to start for your profession while you're applying for your profession you can always attach the application form for student accommodation so yeah that's how it works um if you're wondering what is the what is on campus and off campus go watch my previous video i explained um it properly there on the previous video um you can just go always go check it out i'll maybe attach it here i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do that so yeah um, does Urban Circle have a curfew? Um, I stayed in Urban Circle in 2020 before the virus strike, right? Um, we didn't have a curfew. Most of our don't have a curfew. Let me just say before coronavirus, we didn't have curfews because yeah, it's off campus. That's what that was one of the advantages of staying off campus, no curfew, right? So ever since the beginning of the virus, obviously curfew have has to be implemented following what the National Disaster Management Act is saying if the Disaster Management Act is saying that um, at 8 p.m. people shouldn't be outside, obviously, student accommodations should also close. But I've seen people coming back to us after curfew, so um, you know, um, does Urban Circle have a curfew? Yes, it does because of the virus, but then I don't know if when we didn't have the virus in 2020, we didn't have curfew, so yeah. Hi, is Mpumalelo and Urban Circle a mixed gender residence? Um, yeah, most of campus student accommodations are mixed gender residences. I've never heard of any off campus residence that is only for males or only for, for females. Um, you find the only for males, only for females at on, on campus, on, 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 on campus student accommodations. So, yes, Mpumalelo and Urban Circle are a mixed um, gender um, residence. And also, if you want to stay with, like, um, let's say you are a lesbian and you want to stay with a lesbian. You can always run it like you can always tell these people to 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 to, to provide you a roommate like who is of the same you know um sexuality is it sexuality yeah i think it's sexuality and if you're gay and you prefer to stay with someone who's gay you can always just tell them i feel like they would consider that um hi uh um so the so these residences does not have okay so these residences do not have transports taking you to uj so it's a campus yes guys um if you are a Soweto campus student, right, I would advise you go stay next to Soweto because Soweto is quite far. Traveling from CBD to Soweto every day, I don't recommend it. You're going to be very fatigued. By the end of the year, you're going to be very tired because cause is, it, it chows, guys. It really chows. So, um, most of our dishes don't provide buses that go from here to Soweto. But what they will do, they will take you maybe to Auckland Park to DFC or to Bantin where you can take a bus that will take you straight to Soweto. So UJ provides buses that are always moving around all these campuses. So whenever you're at APK, DFC or APB, you can always take a bus, a UJ bus, which is free to Soweto. So yeah, Soweto is quite a long distance, guys. Don't stay in CBD while you're going to Soweto. Unless otherwise, unless you have a car. <laughs> so um, are you allowed on campus or you just prefer doing Doing online learning um this question was sent six months ago are you allowed on campus yes people are allowed on campus guys you are allowed on campus as long as you have a reason to be at campus and you follow all the you know guidelines regulations and stuff like that wearing a mask sanitizing and stuff like that people are allowed at campus even the library is open i've been to the library once this year and yeah so you just prefer doing online learning no i don't prefer doing doing it online i don't actually have a choice it's just provided online because of the pandemic so yeah and then i guess if we didn't have a pandemic we would be doing contact classes um can first year students live in this rest without having a roommate a first year student can always stay in any rest right in any rest there are no residents that are just only for returning students i've never heard of that and can always stay in a single room if you're a first year i don't know on campus on campus though um you can actually like as a first year you have to share but then in the second year as a senior student until you finish your degree you're gonna be staying in a single room right but off campus you can always choose to stay on a single room as long as you can afford yeah as long as you can afford single rooms because single rooms are actually expensive um, hey, is your room a bachelor to sharing or normal to sharing five months ago? My room is actually a What is a bachelor to sharing? Okay, this is a thing that happened in this rest like they classify rooms into bachelor to sharings and Normal to sharing. I don't understand bachelor to sharing but then whatever so this is a to sharing they call it a to sharing here 
and a bachelor two sharing i believe a particular a bachelor two sharing had to be um a, um like a room not a room though like an apartment that has two bedrooms and you share the kitchen and the bathroom that would be a bachelor two sharing but then this one is just an open cast um two sharing i can literally see my roommate's bed right now um, why did you change accommodations? The room is nice. Thank you. Um, I changed the accommodations because um, I didn't like um, the fact that Urban Circle was far from things. So let me just give you um, what I want, right? I feel like I want to... Okay, sorry. Yeah. So, um, guys, when I came to UJ in 2019, I was staying in CBD, CBD, in Resec, right? Um, second year, I went to Durham Fontaine. This year, I'm in Brown Fontaine. Next year, I'm going to Auckland Park. I want to rotate. Like, I want to know all sides of Johannesburg. So that even when I graduate, I'm like, yeah, I know Joe Berg. You, you feel me? So, um, I moved out of Urban Circle, obviously, because I there was there were certain things that I didn't like about strong rotation. Um, staying in a four-sharing was not convenient for me. I wanted to stay in a two-sharing, but then they were saying that I have to top up for a two-sharing, and I didn't understand that power. Why do I have to top up for a two-sharing, right? Um, and also, it's far from things that I actually wanted, like my business and um, Munati. <laughs> Yeah, it's far and yeah, I just wanted to also um, Know all sides of Joe Beck on top of that um, How much is this accommodation? I didn't apply for NSS um, six months ago this accommodation I pay 4,280 in a two sharing single rooms are more expensive three sharings are less expensive um, You didn't apply for NSS uh, um, I don't know today. I saw some people sharing um, Emails from NFC saying that you can actually apply for NFC now if you're a qualifying student and you're currently in university But um, I don't know if you're watching this but yeah, I, I don't know this was sent six months ago I really don't know how to answer to that Sorry, though, you should apply for NFC if you're in metric apply for it for NFC as soon as possible Why did you move from Edmund Circle because you had a single room? Um, I moved out of Edmund Circle because of the reasons that I've already explained I didn't have a single room though at Urban Circle. I was staying in a four sharing. It's just that it was divided, but still you could hear your roommate because um even there's this even though there's a division, there is no ceiling division or roof division. You can still see your roommates if you stand on top of your bed. Um, are you NFS funded? Yes, I am NFS funded. I always say I am NFS funded. I don't know where this question is coming from. Yeah, um, NFS funded. Um, yeah, NFS kid, peace, <laughs> government kids. Um, do you move out of Urban Circle? Yes, I did move out of Urban Circle, guys. I am currently staying in Bramfontein. Um, does the room come fully furnished? Yes, when you move in into a strong accommodation that is NFS accredited, you should note that because certain strong accommodations are not NFS accredited. So if they are not NFS accredited, Accredited it means that they don't follow the guidelines that NFS require and the guidelines that NFS require they require the room to be furnished So yeah, <clears throat> it's furnished. It has stoves fridge uh, Everything cackle some don't have cackles. I don't know why but then yeah, they usually have cackles They have everything it's just that even a bed chair desk everything you just bring your clothes your dishes and your books That's it and yourself. Don't forget yourself <laughs> Hey, can I DM you on Instagram? Guys, you can always DM me on Instagram. My handle is at shaleen.mubango. DM me. As long as when you DM me, you don't say, hey, gorgeous, and full stop. You can say, hey, Shaleen, I watch your YouTube video, this, this, this. I have a question. I want to know this, 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 and I respond. People who actually DM me know that I respond. I'm not a celeb, guys. I respond to DMs. Um, I like this accommodation. Is the Wi-Fi unlimited? And does this accommodation have free transport? Um, most accommodations have unlimited Wi-Fi. Or if they don't have unlimited Wi-Fi, they're gonna give you um, a lot of gigabytes that you cannot even finish in one month unless you are an internet freak. So yeah, guys, um, it is um, the strong condition that I'm currently staying at. It has Wi-Fi that is unlimited, and also it has free transport to campus. If you find a strong condition that doesn't have free transport to campus, that's a red flag. Relieve that strong condition. Hey, um, hey, love. Hi love. <laughs> Great video. Thank you. So with these with the guest stove, who pays um who pays for the for for the for the new guest each time? Okay, this question was posted last year when I was living in Epic Cycle, right? We had guest stoves there. So the guest stove you just take the guest thingy to the security you will you will be given um a new gas thingy that has gas inside you don't pay for the gas you don't um you don't you don't uh, maintain the gas stove you don't do anything to it you just give them 
um hi girl hey um i feel you i feel you about a large study desk this one this one i had this year was so small and depressing i want to move next year do you guys buy electricity okay um yeah this person was actually um engaging with my content yes i actually prefer or not prefer i actually um recommend you find a bigger street, like study table when you study because i uh, i open a lot of books when i'm studying you'd find that i have like a book for case law notes a book for notes in general like theory um also a textbook if i have a textbook for that model my laptop four things on my table on top of that I have a very big pencil case. I will need my juice bottle. I also also need my light bulb. So I have these things on my table. Obviously, I will need a very large table because a small one, everything is just gonna keep on falling, and I don't want my stuff to keep on falling because that's gonna distract me, right? Yes. So be mindful of that. Do you guys buy electricity? No, electricity is prepaid. They're gonna pay, buy electricity for you. You don't buy electricity unless the strong accommodation um, specifies otherwise. Do you write an NB test at UJ? Yes, other people do write an NB test, especially those who are in BSc, Bachelor of Science stream. Um, myself, I didn't write um, NBT test. NBA. NBA. What is NBA? Oh, NBA test. Yeah, I didn't write NB test because I was scared that it's going to moor me. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, other people do write. My friends who I was in high school with did write NB test and they currently studied UJ. I think, I don't know. I don't know. But then do write your NB test just in case. The way you're saving us is, thank you. <laughs> also, doesn't sharing grocery cost fights, Nyana? I might, I might, I might intro this, my roommate. I might introduce this to my roommate. Okay. Buying groceries, right, with someone else saves a lot of money. Me and my roommate Sama, we contribute 600, 600, sometimes 500, 500 for grocery, right? Um, and we are left with 900 or 1,000 each and every month. So that means that if I am buying groceries, not alone, I'm going to save 900 rands. That's a lot of money to save. You can always buy yourself clothes, save money and do stuff. It's very nice, beneficial a lot. But you have to know the person you are sharing your, your food with. You should like have a certain level of friendship or comfort zones. I don't know. You should be very comfortable with this person that you want to share food with. Don't just say just because you are my roommate, you can actually share food. No. You should have a certain degree of friendship and comfort um, among each other before you could share food because it does cause, cause fights. Me and my roommate Summer, we haven't fought about foods ever since the beginning of the year and now it's like August. We haven't fought about food. So just um, beware of the person you want to share food with. I feel like it's better to always share your food with someone that you really, you are very comfortable with, especially with that if they're doing something that is disgusting, you can always just tell them that we're not. I don't like this. Um, you don't have to do that to our food. You're wasting food. Not just keep quiet. Because once you start keep, keep, keeping quiet, you're going to feel bad now. You're going to start getting stressed. You're going to feel like you shouldn't be sharing the food with them. And now you're going to start fights. You see? Yeah. How long does um the food last um the food that we actually buy together lasts for 30 days that, that is a month yeah usually the eggs run out first because we eat a lot of eggs but all other things actually last for us for a month um how much does nfs give for allowances nfs gives food allowance that is 1500 it increases so don't like don't attack me if you come next year and you find out that is 1.6 right because when i was doing my first year it was it was 1440 and now it's 1500 um so yeah we get 1500 Hey girl, hey, because you live outside campus, how do you deal with writing tests at a night? At a night, Because I'm not sure which one to choose be, be, because of that reason. Um, I've never written tests at night. I don't even know if that it, that happens for undergrads. But for postgrads, I believe maybe it happens. But then, yeah, um, I didn't consider writing tests at night because we don't do that. And even if you were to write a, a test at night, you would be writing it online at night. So so that would be still okay so i don't think you should be worried about writing tests at night because that that doesn't exist at you at uni hey shalene does j1 offer a school bus yes it does offer a free school bus that will take you to apk um vets um education campus vets main campus um dfc apb 
where do you do your hair i do my hair in bramfontein i was doing my hair with this other girl patience but now i no longer like how she does my hair she makes them very thin and i don't like it thin i want it to be a lot nyana not like this it, it looks so tiny and yeah it's like she, she wants to save happies and earn a lot of money from the money that i pay i just don't like hair so for now i'm still looking for a hairdresser i wouldn't recommend anyone so far um hey Shaleen, i'm currently in grade 11 i want to study law after high school and want to know the requirements to study law at UJ, like the aps or etc um with regards to requirements guys just download um uj um is the student this is 2022 2021 right so you're gonna just go to google and search uj prospectus 2022 pdf it's gonna appear and you can just go through the document and see um whether or not you qualify for the um um, qualification that you want to achieve right so with um lb lb the minimum requirement i believe is 29 points yeah 29 points but if you want to study lb and you're really serious about studying llb you should get a lot of aps maybe 30 and above because let's say 32 and above because a lot of students who apply for llb are very smart kids in high school and they actually earn a lot of aps you'd find that you are um fighting for a spot with someone who has 40 points and at that time you have 29 only the minimum right so don't fight for the minimum fight for the maximum as possible as you can um one thing about you didn't mention is where do you hang your clothes after laundry to dry up won't people steal your clothes um this is very important thank you for asking this question when you choose the accommodation please do choose a sort accommodation that has um drying machines don't choose a sort accommodation that doesn't have drying machines because you're gonna have a problem of people stealing your clothes but then if they don't have drying machines usually where you you hang your clothes there, there are cameras there and then if someone does steal something from you you can always go track them but but uh, that's also very um, it's just complicated just just choose a strong accommodation that has um dryers I, I advise you do that please 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 and it's not a machine that has a lot of laundry machines because you would find a big strong accommodation like j1 having four machines like uh, what is your biggest what is your business about oh my business is about um not about anything <laughs> i sell um vintage thrifted clothes um that are usually secondhand clothes new clothes or damaged clothes so yeah guys um that's what i actually sell they're actually proper you can always check it out on instagram at vendi for underscore vintage where do you study Gandhi not in dfc no i don't go to doron fontaine campus guys i go to auckland park campus and yeah that's where i'm studying what grade does someone have to apply for NFSS? Uh, I applied for NFSS while I was in matric. Um, I've never heard of anyone saying that they apply in grade 11, but you can always inquire. But then I don't see a reason for you to apply in grade 11. You can always apply while you're in grade 12. Um, how much is registration fee? It depends on the year and whether or not um, the fees, tuition fees have increased. Um, I don't know myself because I've never paid for it. Just um, Google or ask other people who have paid for it. Which campus do you study business information technology? Guys, how am I supposed to know? <laughs> I'm studying law for goodness sake. But then if you want to know that, you can always Google the prospectus, right? On the prospectus, they're going to put in um, the APS score that is needed for that qualification. They're going to put in the marks that you need to um, obtain per subject that is very um, important for that model or for that course. And they're going to put why, what you can actually work, what 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 profession you can actually go to after doing this qualification and also they're gonna put in like dfc apk um cw swc or apb and um, those letters stand for a campus that you can actually go study at dfc is Doral fontaine campus apk is auckland park campus um swc is sowater campus is yeah it's water campus and apb is um auckland park banding road campus <laughs> yeah are this are the accommodation you are the accommodation are the accommodation security strict for like when you want to visit as when you want a visitor to sleep over um so accommodation securities are strict um <laughs> honestly speaking especially when you're speaking english 
I speak English most of the times. I don't know how to speak Zulu. I don't know how to speak Tonga. I only know Venda and English, right? So once you start speaking English, I feel like they feel like they are you're disrespecting them because you're using English or whatever. But certain staff accommodation have securities that are nice, and as a boy, it's easy to even bring someone over because you can always talk through, um, you know, securities. I'm not saying anything, but um, it depends on who you are and whether or not you are a very negotiation and a very negotiative person if you can negotiate yeah you can actually end up having someone to sleep over if you are studying become accounting then which campus would you be in i believe it's Oakland park but then just go to check on the prospectors i've already answered this um does j1 have entertainment areas no it doesn't have entertainment areas and that's so effed up because where are we supposed to meet up with other students where are we supposed to socialize like you only socialize on the stay way or the elevator like, what the what the f is that <laughs> but anyway j1 doesn't have um entertainment areas and that's boring um, which university are you studying at? I'm studying at UJ, University of Johannesburg. Um, do you remove your decor when you move out? Yes, obviously. You have to re like remove everything that is yours when you leave the Surah Meditation and leave everything that you found inside the room when you came to stay at the Surah Meditation. Sorry, yeah, so that's what you actually have to do guys. You cannot just come in. I cannot just leave my room like this What if the person who's coming to stay here next to doesn't actually like this now? I'm giving them the job to remove everything from the wall. I have to clear up everything How much is urban cycle? Um, how is urban cycle? Would you recommend a first year student to stay in Urban Circle? Urban Circle is a very good accommodation, very huge. It has a lot of entertainment areas. It's vibey. It's nice. It's not small boning. It's beautiful. It's just that it's located in a wrong area because the wrong fountain is very dangerous. But um, yeah, I would advise the first year to go stay in Urban Circle. It's very nice for a first year footy because you have a lot of people that you can actually interact with. What does NFS accredited mean? NFS accredited means that NFS can actually fund that strong accommodation. If the strong accommodation is not NFS accredited, it means that NFS won't pay for it. If it's accredited, it means that NFS can pay for it. It's like NFS allowed, NFS rated, NFS um, whatever. NFS can pay for it. Sis, does J1 also have curfew? Yes, we have curfew now because of the pandemic, but before the pandemic, we used to not have any curfew. <gasps> oh, I didn't stay here before the pandemic, so I don't know. <laughs> but it does have a curfew. And that is the last question. Oh my God, this video is so long. Can I believe this is my first 30 minutes long video? And I, I, I just hope it was actually um, useful for me to answer all of these questions. And if you have more questions, you can always feel free to comment them, to comment them down below. And yeah, guys, um, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you ever subscribe, then what are you doing? <laughs> well, if you ever subscribe, what are you doing? So yeah, guys, um, thank you so much for watching the video thus far i don't even believe anyone is gonna watch it thus far but if you do you are highly appreciated so guys bye